I'm Keith Ford and welcome to this edition of From the Vault. And I'm here with Steve Ostrom and we are here at Rock Island Auction House with one of the most unique pieces we've ever seen. If you've ever seen the movie The Inglorious Bastards, you've seen this right here. The Sedgley Glove Gun, or also officially known as the Hand Firing Mechanism Mark II. This is made for the Navy. Unfortunately, not OSS, not secret operations or anything like that, but basically a self-protection device that was used in the Pacific. Uh, there was about 50 to 100 of these made and not really ever issued. They mostly stayed in the box. And this is literally a handgun or glove gun uh, chambered in 38 Smith & Wesson. So let's take a look at it real quick. To load it, push forward on this little button right here. Drop the 38 Smith & Wesson shell down in there. Push that forward again and she's loaded. Now I had a safe, this is safe, this is fire. Now these were not cocked, so it was relatively safe condition anyway, but what you would have to do is, you would have this on the right hand, you didn't have a left hand version of this, but only a right hand. The force of the impact of your hand upon the person that you hit would trigger the firing pin to come out. You can see that right there. So you had to hit them pretty hard for it to actually hit the primer and do anything. Originally, this was designed to use a 410 shotgun shell, but the force behind that would, I would imagine, probably tear that off of the glove. Yeah. And it's just, just, it's pretty neat, but what good it would have done, I don't know. Other than making it real good for use in a movie. Why, well, it's something you'd wear a lot and use very little, I think. <laughs> yeah. But wow. the main, I think the main thing behind this was, uh, there have been some small document, documented cases of these being used by CBs where they had were oh. given out to them, but they never did put them to use. Because trying to get a handgun or a rifle or whatever, whenever you've got a shovel or something like that, you have this on a hand and then something happens and well, sure. Pop, whatever. CBs always got their gloves on anyway. Yeah. They're doing actual work. But really no documented cases of it ever being used. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I would hate to have that on my hand. Other than the movie, I mean. Yeah, other than the movie. But a really unique piece, not a whole lot of them around, uh, but they were not OSS or spies, secret no, operations. Not very inconspicuous. Yeah, not very inconspicuous. And we can see right here, US Navy symbol stamped right there, as well as stamped right there. One of the coolest pieces that the U.S. ever produced, but just never really had much use. No, the workmanship's there. I mean, it's nicely executed, oh, yeah. but yeah. the idea, yeah, I don't know. I guess you could have one right hand, one left hand, like well, rock em, sock em well, robot. Well, is there even a left hand plane version so nope. you match? Nope, there was no left hand version, only right handed. I'm not on board. <laughs> I can't do it. Can't do it. Yep. 32 S and W. 32, no, 38 Smith and Wesson. 38 S and W. Yep. 38 Smith and Wesson. Well, that's plenty. Yep. Big bullet going slow. Mm -hmm. Short yes. range. Yep. Short That'll range. do the trick. Yes, folks. That is the Sedgley Glove Gun or the Hand Firing Mechanism Mark II. Thanks for watching, and we'd especially like to thank Rock Island Auction House for letting us come out and peruse all their firearms, tanks, swords, and everything else that they have here. It's one of the most amazing places that I have ever seen. Without a doubt. Yep. Hope you enjoyed this, and be sure to tune in again whenever we bring another gun from the vault. Grazie.